Oh, so you want the best tactic on the game, eh? Well, I have some bad news. There is no best tactic. Yo guys, how's it going? Hope all is well. So as you've heard in the intro, there is no best tactic, but there are best tactics. Uh, see, see, what, see what I did there? <laughs> So anyways, down to business now. The two best tactics I think, you know, are the best on the game and have been the best for some time now are the 4-3-3 and the 4-4-2 formation. And there are a whole host of formations that you can use to accompany these other two tactics here. So going to the save that I am currently playing, this is the save that I am trying to use Epsleet or Epsleet or whatever the hell your name is to get to the Premier League. So on the first season, I used the 4-3-2 reformation and we scored a whole bunch of goals i mean you can make the arguments that eps fleet are the best team in the national south but it's still it's still crazy the amount of goals that we scored and i think we lost just one match and dropped points three other times because of draw so it was an incredible season so i feel you use 4-3-3 if you feel that your team is one of the best in the deficiency because that is going to really uh, offer you a lot of attacking options and also one important thing is to play to your team strength so now for example if your best players are your right wingers and left wingers and you're playing 4-4-2 formation it's not really the best practice because you're leaving your best players on the bench and obviously if you don't have your best players playing for you on the field you're less likely to get results you can also use the 4-3-3 formation if you're a smaller team in your division but it changes up a bit by switching to a 4-1-2 three formation which then offers you an extra option in your defense in that defensive midfielder acting as that one player in the 4-1-2-3 formation and i just feel defensive midfielders are absolutely vital to smaller teams if you have a quality defensive midfielder or you have a center mid who is great in defending and pretty good in passing as well you can slow him in right there also a center back as well he can play that role pretty nicely but you need to have a center defensive midfielder you can also do without a center defensive midfielder of course but that's just my recommendation because the basic role for center defensive mid is to just sit in front of your defense and make those passes be pretty good at, at defending as well because it's gonna act as the third man or that fourth man depending on your formation that will really help you shut down the amount of goals that you're conceding and also one word of advice is that you shouldn't always go defensive especially if you're playing with teams in and around your level you should be a bit ambitious and go attacking at times be defend be balanced or something but don't go too defensive because that's gonna invite a lot of pressure and if you don't have good defenders or a good center defensive mid or a good goalkeeper you're gonna concede a, a lot of goals i mean if if you're a coward you can go defensive but I, i'm not a coward I, I think so basically the 4-3-3 formation is a more attacking option when it comes to tactics and you have the 4-1-2-3 formation just like the 4-3-3 formation maintains almost the same shape but it's a bit defensive offering you that extra man in defense okay now moving on to the second one which is the 4-4-2 formation this is one of my personal favorites during all of my time of playing csd or fcm it's, it's a really great formation i mean everyone can testify to that i mean i had this one great wrexham save in cig 22 where my two strikers in the in the 442 formation were just scoring a crazy amount of goals i mean i, was, I mean it was crazy and the, uh, and the incredible thing about this is that the strikers were nowhere near the quality of strikers that i need to have in my club they were like three or four ratings below the average rating of the club but they still manage to score a crazy amount of goals and the beautiful thing about this 4-4-2 formation is that if you have great wing mids that's left mids and right mids and pre a pretty good defense altogether your strikers are gonna get chances to score a lot of goals so basically you don't need a star striker in your team just have two pretty average strikers and they're gonna score a lot of goals that's if you have a great midfield if you don't have a great midfield i mean your strikers are absolutely screwed but if you have a pretty good midfield a nice midfield great uh, wing mids that can produce those cross produce those chances for your strikers they're gonna score a lot of goals i can absolutely guarantee that all of the both of them are gonna score a crazy amount of goals but at least one of them is gonna have a decent season 
putting in decent numbers you can also accompany this formation by playing the 451 similar to the 442 but a lot more defensive you sacrifice one striker and, and you place in a center defense mids right there and that is one incredible thing like center defense mids are the base of your team if you're a team that is fighting for your lives in a in the in the premier league in any league of any sort if you're a team that was just promoted always have a quality center defensive mid please and also the 451 stacks your midfield so it's gonna be pretty hard for you to concede a lot of goals so overall if you're a small team in a big league and uh, you're trying to survive my advice is just get center defensive mid but yeah anyways uh hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and uh, hopefully everything I said made sense. If it didn't make sense or the tactics that you were using or that the tactics that I gave you today are not working, you can always DM me on Instagram, on Facebook, on Twitter. All the links are in the description and just talk to me. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. Goodbye.